Welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I dropped my last video due to some unavoidable circumstances such as my laptop crashing and so on. I couldn't really make some time to create another video. So I'm really excited to get back to it. Today we are going to be looking at how to create a unique 3D text in Illustrator with different gradients and different variations. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So first thing first, I'll be showing three different variants of how to create 3D text because I wanna I was ex experimenting with it and you can do a lot of things honestly with it. But my focus is going to be only to one specific thing today, but you can do a lot of things with that and the colors, the gradients. So First thing first, I'll be create. I've created three artboards over here. You can do with one, or if you want, you can do create as many as you want. So I'll get my text first and create one text over here, and then I will be going character. Before that, I'll be changing my font to this. It's called Hatton Schweiler. Yeah, Hatton Schweiler, that's it, I guess. Okay, so after that, I'll be changing the text to hello. And then I'll be coming over to the character. I'll be increasing the font size to 310. Now, the fun part about this font is that when you vertically scale the text it looks way better than it is right now so i'll scale it up to like 300 and as you can see that it looks way better because like it's, it feels more adjusted to me i don't know so yeah and then i'll align it first thing first now the thing is we're gonna be mainly focusing on effects today and then going to 3d and materials from there we're gonna go to extrude and bevel as you know that after that you'll see this 3d and materials over here you can see that there will be quite a few stuff that you can mess around with so i'll be mostly working with revolve today because i was experimenting with it i might really like what i made with that so yeah that's what okay so the first thing first we're going to work with the angle over here so if you see that if we decrease the angle it, it's just going to stop making it 360 rather than some other angle so i'll go with around 57 58 that's fine and for the offset itself i'll be going probably with like so the offset is going to increase the distance of it so i won't increase that too much i'll just probably go with two pixel for this one and yeah i want it to be on the left edge so after that i'll be coming to the presets i mean the rotation over here and now you can play with the axis of how you want it to rotate and all so for this one for the axis i would just go with the ones that i have here by default wants to be there because i've been playing around with that i assume so coming over to materials, this is something that you could explore if you want to, but since you're going to be working with gradients and colors, I'm not going to be really messing around with the material. I'll just stay here with the default, the roughness and all, it's fine. Uh, the most important part is the lighting. So the lighting would matter more uh, with the color. So whatever color you set and everything, it's going to react differently to it. That's what I've noticed about it. So yeah, so before we start working with lightning, I'm going to make this text a gradient instead. So for this, what I will be doing is I'll be selecting the text first, and then I'll be hitting up to appearance. So if you do not have appearance over your sidebar, you can just come to the window and look for appearance and grab that. Okay, so I'll select it again. And then as you can see, we have 3D material. And now I'll be just creating and add a new field over here. You can add a stroke at a new field, or you can even add stuff like these over here, as you can see. So I'll just stick with a field for now. And the next thing that I will be doing is I'll just, maybe there are a lot of ways to do it, but I'll just create a gradient like that. And 
it, it right away comes to that because you just created a fill in the appearance and it's now reflecting on this layer pretty cool and then what i'll be doing is i'll be going to my gradient and start playing with the gradient itself so first of all i have a white over here i want it to be there as the base color because i want it to be visible for now so yeah after that i'll be opening another gradient slider over here and i'll be using a color picker to pick this color i've already made my color palette before so that we waste less time with exploring with the colors and then the next time then the next one would be the color of this so the next one would be the color this color and for the last one i'll be picking this color all right great so once that is done we are going to start messing with the colors but before that you're not going to keep it as a linear gradient we're going to change it to radial gradient instead so as we can see we have our radial gradient over here right now and you can see it's quite dark so we are going to fix that quite soon enough so do not worry about that um, okay so right now what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the position of the colors over here the first one i'll probably make it around 20 26 and it's fine to me with that because i wanted to have a smooth transition and wanted to look unique like those you know trending colors and everything like dreamy colors and everything like that uh the next one would be around 47 i believe that would be fine and then the next one would be around 72. let me just yeah so as you can see that it already looks pretty sick in my point of view so uh the only thing that we need to work with right now is the uh, lighting so i'll be heading back to my appearance and over here you can just access your 3d and materials oh and i'll be heading towards the light right now so over here for the lighting stuff i'm gonna set the intensity and see where i like it so i want it to be bright uh so maybe probably around here 197 or 200 i don't like the edge but this is fine we're gonna work on it and then for the rotation maybe around 53 looks better it's more bright and then for the height of oh, 45 is fine and then softness to be around 64 okay and then for the intensity itself if we set it higher as you can see the contrast goes down by a lot so i'll just mean the intensity around 65 percent 65 or 66 yeah that's fine but yes do i want to change the intensity a bit because the lighting is just too much oh yeah i guess i i like this and then what i will be doing is i'll be adding a background color to it just to see how it adjusts with it um for that what i'll be doing is i'll be creating a rectangle over here inside this artboard Control shift oh damn that gradient that we just made okay so we what a wild color uh so we're gonna use the eyedropper tool to get this pick this color and then i'm gonna bring it back and then this is how the first one looks like so you can adjust it accordingly as as to your liking uh i would say the initial process was also nice like the color that i got but it was too dark but yeah this looks pretty sick to me so yeah it looks very realistic at the same time unique so if you have like some one word text that you really want to promote this is a really good thing i guess you could experiment with so for the next one what we will do is we'll just grab and copy this and maybe change the word to something else i don't know 
big wolf i'm a big fan of wolf and yeet so why not uh now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change we're gonna start by changing its like uh revolve angle and the rotation first of all so let's jump into that for this i think i'll go with the angle of 76 how would it look the red right edge okay no, no, no. i'll keep it like this for now and then the offset around 96 96 okay let me just type it out yeah after 96 over here uh we'll just Rotate it, it to around rotation to maybe 46. Thirty-nine and then minus fifteen. I guess it goes right edge. Okay. So I'm forty-six. It should be 46, not minus 46. That's why I went wrong. Yeah, it should be the right edge. And this is what we are going to end up with. Same way, I'm not going to mess with the materials. I'll be going to the lighting and I'm going to fix that. But however, before that, I'll be changing its gradient again. So I have the color palette already set over here. I assume that's the same color. So the set one is going to be this. For this one, it's going to be that. For the last one, we're going to use this. And yeah, for this now we're gonna work on the lighting itself. So I'm gonna maybe play the intensity a bit. Set this to 167. Set this to a four. Yeah, so after that, four, maybe this to 14. Yeah, way we can highlight on the word a bit more and then for softness i guess we could go around 64 don't mind what it has right now so yeah this i said i'd say 58 is fine for this all right great so i'll just copy duplicate the background over here and change the color to this so we've got another text i guess you, you could try making a bit more metallic that look might suit it a bit more i'm not sure uh, just making it more dark okay never mind i'll just work on the intensity a bit yeah so this is how our end result would look like in the same way we're gonna work on another one just gonna duplicate the background real quick. Actually, never mind. I'll do that later. I duplicate the text using Alter and Shift, and then I'll change this text to Yeet. Okay, cool. So for this one, we're gonna choose a different angle again. Probably, let's see. What can we go with? Eight, and then that 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 what else can we go with for offset maybe set it to two like I don't want this to be that harsh like the big oof and then for the rotation let's make it look like a cake almost like a slice of cake and this one minus Six. I'll actually make it to the left edge, uh, and then this one, this rotation, the last one, is going to be eight point one. Minus eight point one. Yeah, something like that. All right. Cool. 
So let's work with the colors first. Same way, I'll just hit the gradient tab and then pick the correct colors. Left on this, just select the slider picker and then do your copy. But my that last one was supposed to be for the background. So I'm gonna delete this, bring it all the way back. Okay, for the color position of this, I'll play, play around a bit. 40, maybe around 66. What am I doing? Oh god. 66. Alright, pretty good, I guess. So once that is done, what we're now going to do is we're going to mess with the lighting again for this one. Okay, for the lighting itself, um, starting from the beginning, let's see, where do I stand? Need to 126. 27, okay, that's fine. Um, and then 20. Location. One. Okay, I'll just come back to it later. This to maybe around forty-nine. This will be the skin, I believe, forty-nine. So it's all about experimenting with the colors to see how you can work with the lighting with it. Uh, so yeah, it's about forty-nine as well. All right. So it looks dope, uh, and then I'll just duplicate this, pick the icon, uh, swap, so I can eyedropper tool, and then select the color. So yeah, there we have it. Yeah, have three different variations of 3D texts with different gradients and all. So I hope you learned something new in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss!